Greetings, pilots. Let's discuss aircraft, or to be more exact, their technical specifications. You'll know what affects them and how to change them. In your hangar, you will see main specifications for each aircraft, durability, firepower, speed, maneuverability, and altitude performance. These statistics become clear with numbers. The more, the better. But what do the horizontal marks below the numbers mean? They show how the parameters of an aircraft compare with other aircraft of the same tier. For example, the Arado AR-80 in its top configuration has a speed value of 388. Graphically, the value is displayed as 4.5 marks. Look at its counterpart, the Tier 3 Soviet fighter I-16, early mod. The speed value of the I-16 in its top configuration is 352. Its speed value is lower than that of the AR-80, so it only has four marks. Now, let's take a look at the speed of the IL-40P, a Soviet Tier 10 attack aircraft. It has a speed of 767 kilometers per hour. It greatly outmatches both the I-16 and the AR-80. However, it only has two horizontal marks because other aircraft of its tier are much faster. So keep in mind that a number value in the parameters is an absolute absolute value. Thus, you can compare specifications between every aircraft. Using graphical values, however, you can only compare aircraft of the same tier. Keep in mind, durability, firepower, speed, and maneuverability values are complex. They are formed with more narrow parameters. To view them, expand them. All these characteristics are taken into account in flight modeling and affect the combat capabilities of an aircraft. However, it may be difficult to understand for beginner pilots. But the more you learn about each aircraft, the more important this information will be. It will help to analyze aircraft's pros and cons more precisely. Let's compare the I-16 late model and the Focke Wolf FW-57. In its stock configuration, the speed value of the German heavy fighter is lower. You may think that this aircraft won't be able to break away from the I-16. However, let's take a closer look at the detailed parameters. You can see that the maximum dive speed value of the FW-57 is greater, so it can easily break away when diving. It would be hard to compare the specific features of these aircraft and develop in-battle tactics for them without knowing this additional information. Let's take a look at the altitude performance characteristic. It shows at what altitude an aircraft performs optimally. If your altitude performance is greater than of the other aircraft of the same tier, it makes sense to attack enemy aircraft from above using boom and zoom tactics. If your altitude performance is low, you should fly closer to the ground. You can change an aircraft's specifications by mounting new modules and equipment onto it. To see what you can upgrade, choose an aircraft from your hangar and open the Upgrades tab. If you want to know the characteristics of an engine or weapons, hover your mouse cursor over the icon. You can also right-click on the icon and choose Information. If you left-click on a module icon, you will see that the length of horizontal marks will change and numbers will appear next to the numerical values of the aircraft's main specifications. They show how specifications will change after you mount this module. Green numbers mean specifications will improve, while red numbers mean they will decline. Mounted modules are marked with yellow check. You can research new modules by spending experience you earn in battles on a particular aircraft. As soon as you have earned enough experience, click on the module and then click Research. To mount a newly researched module, you will need to purchase it first. If you have enough credits, left-click on the module and then click Purchase and Mount. The old module will be moved to the depot and the new one will be mounted. Sometimes you need to research a new airframe first in order to mount a new engine or auto cannon. Arrows in the scheme will show the sequence of researching modules. Before you sell an aircraft, make sure you are not going to use any modules mounted on it in the future. If you are, replace them so you do not have to purchase them again. In the Tech Tree tab, you can always learn specifications and configurations of any in-game aircraft. You can also use the World of Warplanes Encyclopedia on the official website to compare different aircraft. This is a useful tool for knowing your adversaries better and planning further research. Besides researching new modules, you have another option to improve the performance of your aircraft. In the Upgrades tab, you will find three cells to mount equipment. Click any cell to view the list of equipment and its characteristics. These lists vary depending on aircraft tier and type. 
the cost of equipment is displayed in each cell, as well as its name and description. If you don't have enough credits, the cost will be highlighted in red. Otherwise, you can purchase equipment. Confirm mounting equipment by clicking Mount. Mounted equipment can change the performance characteristics of an aircraft. However, these changes aren't included in the description of the aircraft shown in your hangar. You can dismount equipment and then mount it onto another aircraft if both aircraft are compatible. Dismounting equipment may cost a little or nothing at all. For example, if you dismount gun sights. To sell equipment you don't need anymore, enter the store and choose the corresponding section. Find the equipment you no longer need and sell it. You can also use the store to purchase equipment. This is convenient if you want to purchase equipment in larger quantities. That's all for now. Good luck!